Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a new book for you today. This is a book I haven't seen before called Symmetricals, a grown-up coloring book by Marion Seip. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It is a um, really pretty book. It's good quality. It is over 40 designs and um, it's like inspired by illuminations, network, stained glass, and mandalas. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay. It, they are one-sided and they are all squared off. They're non-perforated. Um, but they're easily, you can take them out of this book to hang them up or whatever. Um, they're really, really pretty. I'm, I'm kind of leery of mandalas. They kind of scare me off just because of the repetitive nature of them. But recently I started them. You know, I kind of liked it. But these are different. The lines on most of them, the lines are bigger. It's easier to color and get your gel pens in there. And um, it's like a whole page of one design instead of, you know, like the... Um, traditional circle mandala type um, really beautiful knots there's like a cross right here these are just very very pretty good details the lines are crisp beautiful this is like an eyeball I was going through it and you can just see all kinds of designs in it, like a peace sign heart this one looks kind of Aztec Indian to me I love all the intertwining circles and stuff that she does. This is going to be really, really pretty when you, um, when you, um, <coughs> color it in. Uh, this is the perfect book for your little gel pens. Get in there, sit, watch TV, hang out by the computer, and just color away. I love the design of this one. It's very unique. very pretty they all kind of intertwine and overlap I love this one Isn't that pretty? this one looks a little um, harder this one is definitely for your experienced people this would be very challenging you would have to get your fine liners out for this one for sure but I can just imagine how gorgeous it will be once it's done. I like this um, double-sided triangular shape like this. This is very cool. And you don't have to color it exactly the same. You could start and do a color block. Start red and then orange and then yellow and then greens and purples. We'll make a rainbow out of it. That would be pretty. This one is so nice. I love this one. It's got so many different things going on. All the details that she's put into her pictures are amazing. Look at this one with the dragonflies. Isn't that cool? Little dragonflies all over. That's just gorgeous. I love this. This is one of my favorites too. It's like a giant star in the middle. Really pretty. This one looks difficult, but that's just because it's smaller on the page. But the lines are perfect for fine liners. And I don't think this one would take forever to do. It's really pretty. This one, too. Same thing. Wouldn't take long at all. This one is a little bit more difficult. A lot of tiny lines in this one. I love the full page ones. These are my favorite. I just absolutely love these. Because they're bigger. I can get my um, my Tombow markers out and use them on these. I like it. This is the one I started. I um, have not finished it yet, but I will. Um, I used all glitter gel pens. Mostly the 
flare glitters I just find these work the best and I use some of the what you call them the smooth SMOOV pens gel pens <clears throat> those work really really well too I just really like this design with all the little dots and circles I'm sorry if you hear a noise outside they're cutting the grass next door um, I just really really like this page and see it, it does go through but just a shadow light um, and the page underneath is perfect because I protected it this is a really nice one too I think this is the page I'm gonna do next just because I really really like the two different designs like this I'm gonna do them two separate colors though this one's pretty it's like a fan to me like a fan spinning very pretty but for some reason those scare me I like this isn't that pretty for some reason it reminds me of a pond and lily pads so that's what color palette I would go with, with this one this one is nice you could do this one in one evening I'm sure but it's so different than your typical symmetrical books that I have seen this one is more detailed and just she put a lot of thought you can tell into her design just the way everything overlaps and it's just perfect this one looks like a cross to me and would be a really good stained glass looking picture if you colored it in all the way you could hang this up it would be beautiful this one too I love this design so much oh, another one just gorgeous I can't say enough about this book I love this pattern this is really really pretty this too I love it if you like these type of designs which I know a lot of y'all do you will absolutely love this book look at the flowers isn't it beautiful and I love the little knots in the middle um, I don't know if you can see them where she overlaps like a little Celtic knot very cool here's that fan again but it just looks like a bigger version of it this one is amazing this is all circles all intertwined this is the one I was going to start but then I was like no <laughs> I need to wait and get a little better before I get to this one but I really really like this one <clears throat> I don't know what color scheme I want to do something is telling me to go with um metallics kind of a steampunky look you know coppers and things like that on this page would be gorgeous I'm saving this one till I get better this one's beautiful all the little designs that she did on here they're kind of like little leaves or something this one looks science fiction ish so pretty I love all the little circles on this one this picture reminds me of like 80s arcade I don't know why but that's where I'm going with this picture maybe some neons on here a garden just like a garden to me flowers so pretty this really really is a beautiful book <clears throat> excuse me I like the bigger ones just for my my eyesight <laughs> and let's see what this says for more information, please follow her, um, www.marionsipe, that's S-I-P-E, dot blogspot dot com or Facebook dot com slash book art by Marion Sipe, backslash. Really, really good book. Again, this is called Symmetricals, a grown-up coloring book by Marion Sipe. I forgot to mention the paper. The paper is definitely a little thicker than copy paper got a better tooth on it than copy paper um 
nice it's a really good quality book heavy duty i really like it nice good shiny cover um i've already broken the the spine so it would lay down a little flatter for me but all in all it is a really great book and i'm going to continue to um continue to color in this one for a while i'm sure um i will link down at the bottom where you can purchase her book if you have any questions or comments just leave them down in the bottom and I will get back to you um, you can also sign up for her and I'll leave that down there at the bottom also really really sweet person I would um, recommend you go into her Facebook group like right away thanks for watching I really appreciate it bye bye